Hi, thanks for joining us on our 100th episode of City View at Home. I'm your host, Marissa Monroy. We sure have covered a lot the past few years. From the first episode released in April 2020, staying in, so are we. Like so many Austinites, we're staying home and staying safe during this time. We were monitoring the COVID-19 situation, urging the community to stay home and stay safe, and of course, celebrating our essential workers. Then we came together to establish relief funds and food deliveries for those who need it most in our community. We've shared stories about creating a more inclusive and equitable community together, helped one another through devastating winter storms, and welcomed the long-awaited arrival of COVID-19 vaccinations and access for all. Austin is a strong and resilient community. Thank you so much for sticking with us through these first 100 episodes, and here's to many more. Now for our top story. Austin's Animal Center needs your help finding a forever home for hundreds of pets. The center has more pets than they have space for, so adoption fees for all pets are waived until further notice. Staff and volunteers are on site Monday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. to help you find the right match for you and your family. Currently, the Austin Animal Center, we're experiencing a really high level of intake and a, a bit of a drop in adoptions. And this is not just happening here in Austin, it's happening nationally, mostly in the south. So we're trying to move all roadblocks we can to somebody getting a pet from us. So uh, if they have concerns about long-term care, that's also something our adoption counselors will talk to them about. If they're you know, getting a puppy, they know we can explain to them the costs of that going forward. And we, if you're getting a senior dog, some of the costs you're looking at. So those are all valid things that people have concerns about, and we're more than happy to talk to them about it. Foster coordinators will also be available to help you through the fostering process. Adopting a pet will not only improve their quality of life, but may also benefit your mental and physical health. Visit AustinAnimalCenter.org for more information. Although recent rains have helped lessen drought conditions, the state of Texas has seen a large increase in wildfire activity this year. To support firefighting efforts, the Texas A&M Forest Service recently activated the Austin Air Tanker Base located at Austin Bergstrom International Airport, and they welcomed a very large special guest. So the reason why we're in Austin with this air tanker, which is called a VLAT, which stands for Very Large Air Tanker, is to support the wildfires that are going on in not only the state of Texas, but in the surrounding states. And the nice thing about being here in Austin is the length of the runway, the size of the airport, and we're really grateful for the city for letting us set up our operation here. The airport came to AFD, the, the wildfire division, so they asked us to help coordinate with TFS and airport, and all three of us came together and we created this space. Right here is where the drop is being made. We have emergency backup drop in case it doesn't drop. So yeah, we just, we work with the tanker base when we get the, the order. We'll load the aircraft. Usually it's anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes. We can get full retardant. We can be off the ground about five minutes later and be headed to the fire. For me, uh, because I'm usually one of the boots on the ground, uh, seeing these guys fly overhead helping us out to catch the fire is awesome. Um, it's, it's a little bit of a, a relief when you see these guys flying over and they can put a stop to the fire. The Austin Fire Department, Austin Bergstrom International Airport, and the city as a whole are proud to support the Austin Air Tanker Base and brave efforts to combat wildfires across Texas. You're never too young to be heard. Stories from the young adults and teens in this story highlight the adversity, experiences, and challenges they've experienced. Many say they are better for it, and it all started because someone listened. So Tea Noise works with youth and young adults ages 16 to 25. And we actually work with youth and young adults across seven systems areas, including um, housing and homelessness services, child welfare, juvenile justice. We're really hearing from youth who have a range of experiences. It could be youth who have experienced homelessness. It could be youth who have experienced the foster care system, um, juvenile justice, or really any and all three. 
Teamless is hosting this listening session as part of our work to prepare for the 80th Texas Legislative Session and our policy agenda going into that session. Um, we do policy advocacy work at the Capitol. So does everyone know what policy is regularly to really advocate on behalf of the needs of uh, youth and young adults and the providers that serve them? These are, um, you know, young people who have deep expertise. They um, have a lot of, you know, thoughts and, and opinions about what has worked well for them, what hasn't worked, um, what they would like to see change, and that's really what we're hoping to uh, listen to and learn from here today. Get your groans and eye rolls ready. Your routine is designed to be presented in 90 seconds. The 45th annual O. Henry Punoff World Championship is a pun. <laughs> We mean upon us. So permit me to tell you this story, and if my memory's a bit fuzzy, bear with me. There will be two separate events. The punniest of show, where contestants will deliver a prepared monologue. I'm doing a, a great job with no real problems besides addiction issue, because I sometimes start speaking withdrawal. And pun slingers, where contestants go back and forth with each other to see who has the best puns up their sleeve. Registration begins September 1st, with the event taking place October 8th at the Mexican American Cultural Center. Sign up at punoff.com. That's it for this week's City View. Thank you for watching, Austin. Be sure to catch up on all of the latest information on atxn.tv, our social media channels, and on our city webpage, austintexas.gov. Stay well, Austin.